zone chung ko te chi bai u le a tun truma hian interview poimo tak ang reng tak mai kan nei do na kan soi masak du chu tun kan interview tur hi pu m kikon ani ya ani hi nai galana ani mele ni lai ani a chu ba ga chuan hemi national politics support thing thui tak me ni a national spokesperson bjp national spokesperson ani a tuna hian tun truma hian kan kom chan tur hi pakata chuan national politics a hian mizo thalai te po in maba tam tak kan la ne ya nagaland tangte arunachal tangte kan notice puya tangte pon politics a mi theng sang tak tak kan ne ya chutia ngani lai chuan mizo thalai te jinga hian engang sin nge politics a kan then ve thei don ti te po an mania tang hian an experience an lotong thia to tangte pon kan thia thei kan ringa chumi wang chuan a party thil ni ngor ngor lovin tun truma hian eng tiang in nge politics in kong an lo zo to tiang chi te po kha kan han kom to na kan han zo to na chumi ruang chuan politics po lo thei lovin kan soi te lo thei don lo boka chung te po chu thi tu ten in thiat in lo thiat tan kan soi masa ni masa in chu chu kan soi ni chela pu ki ko na mizoram a kan lo long chia we welcome you thank you uh, okay um my first uh, uh, question for you is uh, that i heard that uh, uh, you have been a social worker uh, before you join active politics uh, yes. so what what you have uh, achieved uh, is uh, uh, very commendable in the field of politics and as well as uh, in the uh, for the welfare of the society so uh, we'll talk about politics later of before course. that uh, could you please uh, share us uh, your family background and uh, uh, where you are uh, coming from and something like that i am essentially from kohima yes i was born there and uh, my family is uh, a family of missionaries. My great grandfather was uh, the first uh, convert uh, okay. in, in my uh, ancestral village. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter, my grandfather and his brother were missionaries. Mm -hmm. And uh, even my uncles are uh, evangelists and missionaries even now. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we are. Uh, from uh, a family which uh, prioritized education mm -hmm. and uh, our investment uh, from our salary or my grandfather's uh, hard work in the field was invested into the education of my uncles and our parents and all that. And uh, from that background, uh, we grew up uh, having, uh, being advised to focus on studies Okay. And uh, as a youth, I was uh, uh, from Sunday school mm -hmm. to uh, the Baptist fellowship. I'm a Baptist Christian. Okay. I was a youth leader in the Christian fellowship of my church. And uh, that's how I got exposed to uh, uh, mingling with uh, friends and society and uh, got into several levels of uh, leadership position at a very young age. Okay. So after my uh, master's in uh, Delhi University, I worked for some time uh, in Delhi. Then I was engaged in uh, uh, some social uh, issues, especially the field of education. And uh, with that in mind, I came back to my village. Okay. Because my contention was that uh, you have to go back to your roots to know who you are. And mm -hmm. therefore, uh, I went back to my village mm -hmm. uh, because as a young uh, student, I was in Kohima mm -hmm. and Delhi mostly. Mm -hmm. So when I went back home to Nagaland, I started working in the villages, mm -hmm. trying to see uh, the various issues that are challenging mm -hmm. uh, the uh, villagers. One of the main issues I saw was that at the rural level, there are so many SSGs formed by various government agencies. But uh, there was no meaningful engagement with the women at the grassroots level, especially. Mm -hmm. So we started a program and we got funded by uh, the Tata Trust mm -hmm. for an organization that I started. Mm -hmm. So that's how I entered into social work. Mm -hmm. And we worked on uh, developing capacity in uh, ensuring that women leadership is there at the grassroots level. Okay. So that was an enriching experience for me. Mm -hmm. It enabled me to understand uh, how by empowering women financially, mm -hmm. 
mm. through various livelihood programs. You also enable them to have a larger say in most of the decision making uh, processes right at the household level to the village level. Mm -hmm. So once they were financially empowered, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of change in the village level. Mm -hmm. So that experiment I carried on with some 200 people. So along the way, there were a lot of issues uh, because my constituency is at the Assam Nagaland border. So there were issues of, uh, you know, border disputes. Then there were other issues of uh, villagers not getting their due uh, share in the government schemes and all that. So by advocating their rights, by helping them secure their rights, I got engaged more and more into mm -hmm. uh, the life of uh, the rural uh, population in my constituency. Then I got to realize that the most important and uh, in fact uh, the profession which will have maximum impact on the growth and development of uh, the rural sector is politics, especially for a small state like Nagaland. Okay. And at a very young age, okay. and I then decided you went to politics. Yes, I decided that this mm -hmm. is the way mm -hmm. to bring about change in the society. Mm -hmm. All of us think of change. All yes, of us think correct. of development. Mm -hmm. But then, if we sit in our rooms, if we sit in our uh, towns, mm -hmm. and only think or only criticize the government, mm -hmm. then who will be there to work for change? Okay. That That's was right. the challenge and the question I asked myself. Okay. With that, I plunged into politics mm -hmm. at a very um, early stage, let us say, yes, of yes. my life. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, I heard that uh, during your younger age, uh, you love uh, football. Huh? You love to play football. No? Is that correct? Yes, I've been a footballer all my life. As long as I can remember. <laughs> so ever since I was young, I yes. think it is uh, common for uh, youths in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves football. Yes. Only problem was we didn't get the professional training when we were young. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we could not harness and nurture that talent. Yes, yes. And uh, if we had more uh, exposure, more training programs at that point of time, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be a politician. I would be a footballer. <laughs> that's my belief. Because in my university, yes. I played for my college team and all that. <laughs> and um, even now, from time to time, we play football. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> these days, because of the introduction of uh, futsal, mm. even we can play for uh, you know, <laughs> one, two hours now. Mm -hmm. So the love for football still remains. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Ama Kuang, Ama Munge, Led Ledua, Tin Amahi, Christian, Tsung Kuatranga Lo Salian, Tin Missionary, Ta Chokal Zeleni Tute, Kang Kakan and Night, Tubaka Tuanin, Social Work Lama, Mitsia, Abikin, Hemi, Amirate, Timayang, Motong Moilong, the Lo Sela, Tsung Ten, Tin Munsoikan, Turle, Sumle Pine Totswa, Ti Punatur, Maybaka, Politics Lama, Tutlug Nasiam Nakonga. เมเชียเตอดินฮุนซอยซานนิเทนตูรินเตียนชวนมาละอาจุเตียงะมาอะลางนาอนาโทนาตรังชวนเอ่ออาเซียมทรนาบุลตักตักจุปอลิติกส์
as a national spokesperson. Yes. Uh, nor uh, uh, I expected this responsibility of uh, the charge of Mizoram state of the party. I am a second time BJP MLA and I have been working hard for the constituency and my people and also in various responsibility that the government has given me uh, for various departments. I have been working for the state of Nagaland and, uh, and for the party when ever required, I was contributing. This time during the COVID, I was made the government spokesperson on COVID for Nagaland. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of issues where because of lack of communication, mm -hmm. uh, public were nervous. And uh, when we were uh, put uh, to the task, we sort of opened the communication and we were performing our duties, not with any expectation. And this political party is a different party. And I say this because you would not find any political party who would give such a big responsibility to someone from a state like Nagaland, mm -hmm. a small state. Mm -hmm. And it's the biggest and the largest uh, political party in the world. And in that team, that uh, present uh, BJP National Office Bearers uh, team that is led by Sri J.P. Nadaji, my name was included. And it was such an honor. And it is not something I sought for. It was a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel that this is the only political party in the world which will recognize hard work mm -hmm. and merit. Mm -hmm. There is no issue of dynasty. Okay. I don't come from a political background mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't have any godfathers. Mm -hmm. My only godfather is my love for my people and my hard work. That's so great. I feel yes. that the opportunity given to me was a very important blessing, mm -hmm. not just for me, but uh, for the region as well. And this is the only party which will give you that opportunity. Mizor Tran Kansoy le soy nga kanso ona ka national level politics alu turin ng tiyangin ng ibaya ng ilawti na chanti ka niya. Chan na chuan in BJP hi political party ya chuan in ng mo hanin do sa big na le katiyanga intra chon ang chie mo katiyang kanilovin atok mapiyang le ati trapiyang te. Ang ganyan din muntra ang chel na ani ah tuna po yan kay po in COVID leng vanga hal sa nagkanan to so kan kan steta tupuang tu kaniya so tajuan tay patop kaso ah tuna yan in national level and national team ka tayo tay chan hito politics sa mindo sa tuwe mo so tiyang kani vanga nilovin katro rim vanga ani ah so mi vanga so an politics sa BJP party so ang so an a perform terapi yang ati terapi yang teh din pun poi mo anlu acu mi politics acu mi parti acu tiang kalpung parti ni acu BJP ni wang itu nahe national level kalau kalau ulut veta ni ti ka asoya ka ka tlang pun kan soi ni le ta sila so do you think the Mizo youth could also enter national politics as you did and what is your advice to them? According feel, to your experiences. I feel that that's not even a question to us. Mm -hmm. Mizo youths are so talented. Mm -hmm. In every sector, every field. Mm -hmm. They are capable of holding any responsibility in any part of the world, not mm -hmm. just India. Mm -hmm. And it's the opportunity that we have to create for them. There is this understanding of the BJP in uh, Mizoram mm -hmm. that it is anti-Christian, it is... Uh, something which uh, we cannot accept. But I tell you, I am a Christian. I am second time BJP MLA. I am still a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I have been given a responsibility by the party. Mm -hmm. And it's a national party. It's a national party where it recognizes talent, commitment and hard work. And there is no dirt of talent in Mizoram. And Mizo youths should take this opportunity to come and join politics, come and join political parties, and come and be in a party which will recognize your talent. Mm -hmm. And this party is primarily focused on development. Mm -hmm. And today, if you look at Mizoram, people of Mizoram are crying for development. There are issues of unemployment. 
there are issues of revenue generation. Mm -hmm. It can all be addressed by this party. And I feel that we should seize that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I encourage the youth of Mizoram to join politics, to join our party, mm -hmm. to create a better Mizoram mm -hmm. for a better future of Mizoram. Mm -hmm. Nah, kan soal esok kanga, nah politik sa misau terlalu ten national level tekan luar wet hingem kan tiar air teh teh reng mai misau ten talian in neitra ah, terlalu itu he neng kim in tiar macam macam in tan hun rem cantak, ain hong nasa ah talian neitra piang teh le ah thok rem piang teh teh ah cung nun nah kan parti ah antian ni ah an mani parti zom tu rem minhan song pangan itu ka kan soal esok 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 ni tan sila kalam kacukan dua tau kanga politik selam pangan luar tekan now. Uh, we'll uh, coming to uh, political questions. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're in charge of Mizoram uh, for uh, BJP. So uh, you have been here for a couple of days, I think. Yes. So what exactly is uh, your mission here this time? Uh, this is not my first visit. Mm -hmm. after, given, after being given charge, mm -hmm. I uh, came to Mizoram. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, started my journey from Siaha. Mm -hmm. to Longklai, mm -hmm. to Lungle, and then to Tenzol and to Mizoram. That's what, that was my Tenzol, first trip. Tenzol is my hometown. Oh, wonderful to know. I stayed <laughs> there uh, for an hour or so to have dinner in the night mm -hmm. uh, when, on my way back to Aizol. So my first trip has been very eventful that time. And I had come and I had seen uh, almost all the districts my, by now. And uh, I will be coming again and again to the state of Mizoram. My Responsibilities are to strengthen the party organization from the state level to the district level to the constituency level to the village level. So every bo polling booth that exists in Mizoram mm. is my responsibility mm -hmm. and it's my interest. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, not just organization, it is also to look into various issues that requires attention of uh, uh, the party at the center. Mm -hmm. and uh, to um, engage with the citizens of Mizoram, both mm -hmm. young and old, to discuss the future of Mizoram. Mm -hmm. I feel that is also part of my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, BJP has been in existence in the state of Mizoram, here in Mizoram, uh, for quite a, a couple of years. No, many years, let's say. Yes. But uh, in view of uh, the recent uh, election results, mm. Uh, it seems you do not have uh, much progress. So, do you think, do you really think your party has a chance to survive here in Mizoram? I think we are the most hopeful and optimistic party. We have entered states where previously people thought we will not enter. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, for instance, formed a BGP government in Tripura, mm -hmm. where people never thought we will enter. Mm -hmm. We have formed government in Manipur and Assam and uh, Arunachal Pradesh. We are in coalition in uh, Meghalaya and Nagaland. In fact, in the entire northeastern states, BJP is in power, either alone or with its coalition. Mm -hmm. So in Mizoram, if you look at the history of uh, BJP's presence in Mizoram, mm -hmm. we are zero. But if you look at the votes that we are getting, our vote share has been increasing every year and every election. Mm -hmm. From no MLA to we have one MLA today. Mm -hmm. It's only the beginning. I mm -hmm. am telling you, BJP is here to stay. BJP is getting connected with every <coughs> nook and corner of uh, Mizoram. And our presence will increase in the years to come. Mm -hmm. So, of course, in terms of uh, the Autonomous District Council, the Municipal Council elections, we may have lost the battle. Mm -hmm. But the war is still on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we will win the hearts and the minds of the Mizo people. Mm -hmm. We have clear intention of explaining to them that we are party for development. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, the fact that even though we are not exactly running the state, mm -hmm. we are able to support the state of Mizoram with all funds and programs and schemes possible okay. from the centre. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, is that is possible because the vision of Prime Minister Modi goes beyond the criticism that is given to us. Mm -hmm. He loves Mizoram state. Mm -hmm. And he wants to help Mizoram develop. Okay. So you see, you should uh, look at 
the electoral uh, results. Mm -hmm. The results show that we may have not won uh, the seat that we fought. But nobody in Mizoram can today say that we have not fought hard. And like we say, like I said in the beginning, we are organizing our party in every constituency, every village. So once that is done, we are a party to reckon with. Okay. I'm very hopeful of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me talk about this. Let me talk about this. Kuminga macam Mizoram nom tua, heta hian BJP he Mizoram hian chance, lain na chance ini ini saya tak tak emkat dia, zona kani ya BJP he tu na hian insan apa yang kling kling lau ma ilah rural turin kling lau ma ilah akan vote ne izat so apung sah wezela tu na hian parti tepokanin form sah wezela tu wangen Prime Minister Modi ya mat hir tele amalan nte awangin tu na hian Mizo mi puyte tinlung po hi net sok vezel kanin ringa ma kan son sok vezel ni nung talawin ma kan son sok vezel ni tika minsan na aniya at ito an kasole na tur hi LDC election sung sang ka ni tono in the recent LDC election your party did aggressive campaign what should what to say aggressive or extensive campaign but you secured only one seat. And uh, in view of that, what is uh, your expectation uh, on the upcoming search uh, by-election? Let me quote you. Mm -hmm. You were saying that we have lost elections. Mm -hmm. We don't seem to be making any headway. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the LADC election, mm -hmm. you look at the Congress party first. It has been in power for many years in Mizoram. It has just uh, gone out of power. Mm -hmm and uh, MNF government has come to uh, mm -hmm. rule the state. So if you look at their history here, they are so embedded. They are so, uh, their presence is there in every village and every constituency. Mm -hmm. They have MLAs in the, more MLAs than the BJP in the assembly. Mm -hmm. You look at the result of the LADC election. We may have won only one seat, but we got second in almost all the other seats. And Congress also only won one, whereas they have been ruling the state for so long. So if somebody who, so a party which has been ruling the state for so long can secure only one, and the party which has just come and contested for uh, the LADC election and got one and got second in all the seats, over and above the Congress, mm -hmm. our vote share has increased. Mm -hmm. We have secured one uh, MDC, mm -hmm. and we have got second position in almost all the seats. That means... We have defeated a party which has been in power and ruling for a very long time. And MNF won because they are ruling. I am frankly telling you. LADC election, in the last year, we have to win the MDC. 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 The Congress party is the state rate of ruling. We have to win the MDC. Pakatau ni baka patumna biar dengan apa ani fura cuan cuan kan vote share nasi takin apa ngan ni cuan cuan LDC election result kan tanya cuan masa nani tika minsa nani ya cuan your party and the ruling MNF party here in Mizoram you were working together under NEDA and NDA but during election campaign you behaved as if you were fighting each other. So, what exactly is uh, your party's relationship with MNF? We are NEDA partners uh, in the parliament. Mm -hmm. Both the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha MP of uh, mm -hmm. MNF are uh, seated in the treasury bench mm -hmm. because they are part of NDA. And here, uh, if you ask the BJP, BJP is an honorable party. BJP respects its alliance. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we have put the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha MP of Mizoram, of the MNF party, in the treasury bench in the parliament. Mm -hmm. So the decision to put, uh, for instance, our mm -hmm. lone MLA in the opposition bench in uh, Mizoram assembly, mm -hmm. is not an, it's not a decision we have taken. Mm -hmm. That question should be put to MNF, mm -hmm. number one. Okay. Number two, as the ruling government in the center, we are sending so many schemes, so many projects for the state of Mizoram. And we have our statistics to show mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. 
However, implementing agency in the state of Mizoram is the ruling government mm -hmm. and its machinery, state machineries. Mm -hmm. How it implements is something that we as an alliance partner, as a uh, part, national party, as a ruling government in the center, we are entitled to check how it is implemented. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, because we feel for the people of Mizoram, we mm -hmm. want to see whether the projects are properly implemented. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we want to see whether intended beneficiary receives what is due to them. Okay. So in the process, sometimes our party worker says things which uh, uh, sometimes goes against mm -hmm. uh, the government, when, especially when the implement implementation is mm -hmm. not done properly. Mm -hmm. So it is not against uh, MNF as such. Mm -hmm. We are only here to support MNF, implement the uh, uh, programs and schemes that mm -hmm. we give uh, to them mm -hmm. properly because mm -hmm. we want to ensure mm -hmm. that whatever scheme projects is sent to uh, Mizoram from mm -hmm. Delhi reaches our civilians, mm -hmm. our population. Mm -hmm. So our citizens should uh, also raise this issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are so many programs mm -hmm. and projects which come. Mm -hmm. Our only interest is that, for instance, in PMAY, it's uh, we want to ensure that. Uh, the members who have fulfilled the criteria under PMAY in any village receives the support. Okay. If it is not received, it is any citizen's duty, be mm -hmm. it Congress, BJP, ZPM, mm -hmm. or even MNF to raise that <coughs> issue. <coughs> but because BJP is very sensitive mm -hmm. to the need and requirement of uh, our villagers, mm -hmm. then when we see discrepancies, mm -hmm. It pains us and our party workers. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we are emotional because we love our people. And that is why sometimes uh, we raise issues which you may perceive or people may perceive as opposing the MNF. Okay. So it is not really opposing. It is just expressing our desire that these schemes yes. be pro properly implemented. Okay. Okay. That's so great. please don't misconstrue that. Okay. That's very good. <laughs> But you said that uh, why you are alone <coughs> uh, MLA here mm. uh, in Mizoram uh, is sitting at the opposition bench. That should be asked uh, to uh, the MNF party. Does that mean that you are not happy with the decision of the MNF party? Again, let me go back to the last term. Mm. Dr. B.T. Chakma, mm -hmm. our lone MLA, mm -hmm. was a minister in the last term. And this term after uh, getting elected, because we are NDA partners and NEDA partners. Obviously, we were expecting that he would be included in the government and uh, seated in the treasury bench as well. But once uh, we realized that it was uh, not done, we feel that uh, uh, as alliance, uh, that is something we need not ask. That is something which should be honored. Because we feel that Mizo society being a very open, inclusive, and progressive society should be demonstrated in all levels and all fields. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we see that here, our MLA has not been put in the treasury bench. We have raised this issue with uh, MNF, with Puzoram Thangaji as well. However, like I said, it is his call. We have nothing more to say on that. Okay. <laughs> That's clear. Le tu naga zona kan soi fia le sok nga rei lo vanga toi ten soi fia lo chuan sa prong lo se tiem chie lo kan om ta ken enga tinge Mizoram Mizoram a MNF le party le BJP te neda le India te kan thong tu na ma se helai tuol chung hen in bei berang hen in langa siya hei enga chan ti ka ka zona ni chan na chuan in so kan skim shang shang te om chi na. Chung te chukai ni chuan in central scheme chang chang te po ni na turang taka adong tu tu tur dik tak a target ni pui mi re thei te na an don kan dua chu tiang chu alau ni lau chuan a implement tu helai so kan in lau implement halau local pui halau ni chuan chung a chuan in kai ni chuan thei pa topin kan party chuan kan no tri na thau hau kan niya NDA le NDA le neda te po thau hau kan niya chu wang chuan MNF MP te po parliament chuan treasury bench lam an trua chu ti lai chuan Mizorama kan BJP MLA ro chu opposition bench atu tunga chu mi chu achan chu MLA party lam zo turan yang ti khamin chan na ni a chu chu kan zo bel le na chuan 
Hemi an BJP MLA pakatan ni po hi amai minister lo ni to ni tuna to khawan ni thlan no nani le kha minister te po ni ve to ra kan ngai a chu chu kan be sei na ni a amara chu chu tiang ni lovin opposition bencha a chu tir lo ni ta a chu chu ke ni chon soi thei kan nei lo wa MLA party lam soi tur ni a a party ang chuan in pozorom thanga ne na po he thui chu kan thena ni ti kha soya kha kha kan zon ve sim sim bokani a ti chuan Zona kan zot le anga Mizoram is having a boundary dispute with Assam. So since the ruling party in Assam and Mizoram also, as you have said, you were under, you were working together under one alliance. So will it be possible to bring both the parties? to discuss these issues at the negotiate, uh, negotiate, uh, nego uh, negotiating table? I, I think already you would know mm -hmm. that uh, ever since the Assam Mizoram border issue started, mm -hmm. uh, our Honorable Home Minister Sri Amit Shahji mm -hmm. had taken the initiative to call both the Assam Chief Minister and the Mizoram Chief Minister mm -hmm. and at the uh, home Secretary level, mm -hmm. he has also sent a Joint Secretary here to Mizoram and yes. discussions at the bureaucratic level mm -hmm. has also been, uh, has also taken place. Mm -hmm. All attempts by our uh, Union Home Minister mm -hmm. to solve this issue mm -hmm. has already been, uh, is already in public domain. We have tried our best mm -hmm. and the endeavour is uh, very clear. In 2019, in Assam, during the NEDA meeting, mm. when all the chief ministers uh, who are a member of NEDA attended that meeting, I was also there. Our union home minister graced the occasion. Okay. So, yeah, Amit Shah Ji told all the chief ministers mm. that all the border issues that we have among the neighboring states in Northeast mm -hmm. uh, should be discussed at the level of NEDA. Mm -hmm. Since we are all partners of NEDA, okay. dialogue should be the way to solve this issue. Borders in the Northeast, mm -hmm. uh, especially Assam, Nagaland, Assam, Mizoram, Assam, Arunachal, were created when the state of Mizoram, state of Nagaland were created. So during that creation, there was no proper demarcation of the border. So if you look at history, mm, usually uh, for my state, Nagaland, when the border was created, when the state was created, I was not even born. Mm -hmm. We have inherited that border dispute. Mm. And today it is uh, really a good opportunity for us to resolve these border issues. And with that spirit in mind, our Union Home Minister has seized the matter. Sri Amit Shah Ji is personally invested in resolving this border dispute. Mm -hmm. However, as you know, that a dispute of such magnitude mm -hmm. cannot be solved in a day. But I am assuring you that all the government are working together to resolve this issue as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in the meantime, I am grateful that at every level, both the government level and the party bureaucratic level, level yes. and the party level, we are serious about resolving this issue mm. through dialogue <coughs> and <coughs> respecting the rights of each and everyone. Mizoram Ramri Chung Changa, Ramri Boy Chung Changa, Assam Lena Ramri Boy Chung Changa, Neda Noya Toko Teng Tine Mohmalang Dan Om Memti Kha Zona Niya. Chuta Chuan Sang Nile Song Pakua Neda Chief Minister Chutkom Na Po Khan Home Minister Amit Chan, he he soi ho nam mang chin fel turan eti khat si Minister Zong Zong ma alo soi tu ah chut yang chuan ram ri boi apo kan mizo ram ram ri boi chung sang apo joint secretary level te local in tian chuan sokan le pu chuan thei pato pin ram ri chin fel dan tur kong in rem nam thei dan tur he ma la tu na hien party le sa sokar ang pon le official te le party ang pon thei pato pin he lai chu Bosui kan du zela ke ma ni state nagalan te poin hei kan boi na ve thoni wangin hei chu te patopin ma kan da zela ni tika achana ania chu chu 
kan soile sok sok ni ya now Myanmar people are uh, under uh, military atrocities right now <coughs> many misos are uh, living in inside Myanmar uh, they want to cross over the uh, cross over here uh, cross the boundary and take refuge uh, here uh, in the meantime, the government of India instruction uh, so far is uh, not to permit uh, the entry of this uh, foreigner. So has the current issue been discussed at the party's level? Uh, we know that we know very well that, that the government of India decision till today is that. Uh, so has it been uh, discussed in the party's level? I think if you have been reading the um, news right after the issues arose, mm -hmm. you would have uh, seen uh, our Manipur chief minister making mm -hmm. a statement on the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, although Nagaland chief minister has not raised the issue, mm -hmm. in spite of the fact that we are uh, sharing a border mm -hmm. with Myanmar and Mizoram as well. As far as the party is concerned, we have already from day one uh, sent our concerns to the party headquarters in Delhi. And uh, because this is a sensitive matter, yes, yes. I would like not like to comment further on uh, the initiatives we are taking. Okay. Uh, but I will say that our party is sensitive mm -hmm. to the cries of our people, mm -hmm. and will act according to whatever uh, you know international laws mm -hmm. and uh, mechanisms that mm -hmm. are there to address such issues mm -hmm. that arises. Mm -hmm. It is said that here in Mizoram. Uh, Home Minister Amit Shah is, uh, 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 has called uh, the Chief Minister uh, Puzoram Thanga uh, and told him that uh, those who cross over the border will not be reported. Uh, do you have any knowledge of, uh, of that? I'm hearing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we need to verify. Okay. I don't know where you got that source. Mm -hmm. I read in one uh, news uh, that the Chief Secretary of Mizoram had gone, gone to Delhi, mm -hmm. although there is assembly session going on, mm -hmm. to de have discussion with that. Okay. So I feel that right now it will be appropriate to ask uh, the Chief Secretary also okay. on, the, on this matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, my last uh, question is, uh, um, there might be in some corners uh, the perception that BJP is not for Mizoram. So as a BJP national spokesperson, is there anything you want to say to the people of Mizoram? That's my last question. I think <laughs> I have not heard anywhere in my travels in uh, the land and bread of Mizoram that BJP is not from Mizoram. <laughs> Everybody is saying. I am hearing voices from various sections. Okay. It may not be converted to votes for now, mm -hmm. but they all understand that there is love for the state of uh, Mizoram mm -hmm. and there is huge popularity Mm -hmm. of our Honorable Prime Minister, even in Mizoram. Mm -hmm. And I have seen from people from various walks of life mm -hmm. talking about the various schemes that the BJP-led India government in Delhi has mm -hmm. sent to Mizoram. And if you have a look at the evidence of all the projects and schemes we have sent, I think it is enough for the people of Mizoram to understand mm -hmm. that BJP is for Mizoram. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even in AMC, even in the upcoming search uh, by election, mm -hmm. we are very sure that uh, we will perform better than before. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, we hope that uh, once the election is announced mm -hmm. and once we are decided on a candidate, mm -hmm. we will uh, ensure mm -hmm. that our party makes a mark mm -hmm. and entry again. Mm -hmm. in the uh, Mizoram Legislative Assembly <laughs> through Sir Chief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank for, you very yes, much for, uh, for giving us uh, your precise time and yeah. we wish you all the best uh, in, 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 in your career and in, in your future. Okay. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.